In the realm of military aviation, there is a never-ending race to develop the most advanced and formidable fighter aircraft. In this pursuit, the United States F-22 Raptor has long been regarded as the gold standard, a powerful and sleek machine that dominates the skies. However, Russia has been determined to challenge American air supremacy, and they have unveiled a fighter that they believe can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the F-22. This fighter is the MiG-1.44, a sleek and deadly machine that some experts have labeled as a knockoff of the F-22. As tensions rise between these two global powers, the question remains, can the MiG-1.44 truly stand up to the might of the F-22, or is it destined to fall short in the face of American technological superiority? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the skies are about to become a battleground like never before. In an interview with the Russian state-owned news agency Sputnik, a Russian defense commentator said that he believed China's Chengdu J-20 makes use of some of the MiG-1.44's features. Like the F-22 Raptor, the MiG-1.44 was supposed to do it all. On paper at least, the MiG combined stealthy characteristics with excellent maneuverability, which designers hoped would result in excellent fighting capabilities. In addition to weight-saving materials used in airframe and wing construction, radar-absorbent materials were incorporated on the airframe, with special attention given to the airframe's radar hotspots, like the wing edges and engine intakes. Rather than straight through engine intakes, the MiG-1. 44s were curved, serpentine, intakes that could bounce incoming radar inside them, hopefully dissipating or eliminating a return signal. Despite a few stealthy characteristics the MiG-1.44 may not have been all that stealthy. Though intended as a stealthy jet, a few features call into question the degree to which the MiG-1.44 can be considered a stealthy design. One of these is the MiG's canards. Canards are control surfaces, essentially, winglets, usually just aft or below the cockpit that provide additional lift or aid in control during certain flight scenarios. Although not incompatible with stealthy designs, they are not ideal and can amplify an airframe's radar signature. Popular science explains why airframes with a canard design are difficult to make stealthy. Designing a stealthy canard is difficult, particularly if the canards are big enough to enable the airplane to recover quickly from an extreme nose-up attitude. This is due to the extra surfaces that can return a radar signal, more surfaces, more return signal. The issue is the MiG's apparent canard wing alignment. Stealthy jets, like the F-22 Raptor, minimize the radar reflection of control surfaces like wings and tail assembly. When viewed from a head-on position, the F-22's tail assemblies, hidden, behind the wings, reducing the number of surfaces that would be visible to radar. The MiG-1.44 does not follow this design principle. When viewed from the front, the two canards are not on the same horizontal plane as the wings, creating a louder or more reflective radar signature, and possibly compromising its stealth characteristics. Oddly, the MiG-1.44 had prominent pylons on its wings for attaching weapons or fuel tanks, which would have further decreased the jet's stealth. The F-35 can optionally carry fuel or ordnance on its wings, but when not in use, the pylons are removed so as not to degrade stealth. In an interview with the Russian state-owned news agency Sputnik, a Russian defense commentator said that he believed China's Chengdu J-20 makes use of some of the MiG-1.44's features. In my opinion, the machine is based on the Russian MiG-1.44. That plane was created to compete with the POC FA at the preliminary design stage, and made its maiden flight in 2000. The Chinese plane is very similar, the commentator explained. Although it hasn't been announced officially, the J-20 uses our AL-31F engine developed by Silu, which the Chinese bought for half a billion dollars, a nod to Russia and China's budding, if contentious, defense relationship. Russia's stealth ambitions are, grounded. One of their newest heavy fighters, interceptors, the Su-57, has had a number of teething issues. The Su-57 fleet totals only about a dozen airframes. Though certainly a more refined design than the MiG-1.44, stealth appears to be easier to say than to do.